14 prohibitions and strange things that only exist in Austria. Taxing dogs and cats, organizing a cigarette smoking competition, or deducting taxi services. These are just a few of the many bizarre things happening in a European country, Austria. Traditionally, when Austria is mentioned, we often think of an incredibly livable region, a beautiful country, and hospitable people. However, the reality unfolding in Austria is quite different. You're sure to have a different perspective on this country after watching our video today. Right now, welcome to 15 prohibitions and bizarre occurrences that only exist in Austria. Number 40. I inverted toilets. If you are eating something, you might want to reconsider continuing, as what I'm about to mention may seem quite unhygienic, but believe me, it could be very beneficial for your health. What I'm referring to is the toilets in Austria. Most countries around the world use toilets with a bowl-shaped design, where waste is flushed straight down the drain. This is the basic toilet design found on most continents. However, in Austria, they use a peculiar design called the flat bottom toilet. Instead of a tapered shape, the bowl has a flat bottom and is positioned higher than the drain. To explain this, we need to delve into the centuries old history of toilet design. At some point, there was a divergence in the toilet design community. The majority believed that waste should fall quickly into the water to minimize unpleasant odors. This is the classical Western approach. However, some Austrian designers argued that traditional toilets had flaws. The drain was too low and straight, posing a risk of water splashing onto the seat. Therefore, the flat bottom design with an inverted drain could significantly reduce the risk of water splashing onto the seat. Western designers, on the other hand, argued that flat bottom design is not perfect. Our waste would sit there, emitting odors. Interestingly, Austrians don't seem to have a problem with it. Even serves a purpose in the flat bottom design, they can observe their daily excrement to assess their digestive health. Detecting worms or blood in stool is a serious matter. You might think that at this point, Western designers would be adamant in their stance. If they continue, flat bottom toilets could cause splashing around when men urinate standing up. It is a valid concern that needs addressing. And Austrians chose to address it by encouraging men to sit while urinating, ensuring that the water flows directly into the drain. Nothing is perfect, and these are two ideological approaches, two different cultural perspectives. Number 13. If you still genuinely believe that Hitler, the name associated with the most ruthless dictator in history, was German, you are mistaken. Hitler was Austrian. At near the main square, on Salzburger Vorstadt Street in Brauchenweyamin, on the southern bank of the River Inn in Austria, stands a three-story light-colored house, the place where Adolf Hitler was born on April 20, 1889. Hitler only stayed here for a few weeks before his family moved to another house in Bra. When he was three years old, the Hitler family left this town forever. Later, Hitler returned briefly to Brauner and lived there for a short period in 1938. The 17th century building later became an inn and was subsequently purchased by Nazi Germany, renovated into a cultural center with exhibitions and a library. After World War II, the house was returned to its original owners and by 1965, it became a public library. For many years, it was a tourist attraction. The Austrian Interior Ministry was concerned about the resurgence of the Nazi movement. So since 1972, they have leased the building to prevent Hitler supporters from visiting or buying it. The house has no identifying sign. Instead, there's a granite block near the sidewalk with an inscription for peace, freedom, and democracy. Never again fascism. Millions of dead at admonish. This stone serves as a substitute for a memorial and was brought from the famous stone quarry at the Mauthausen concentration camp. In recent years, there have been plans to demolish the house. However, at the current moment, it still stands as a reminder of a dark era. Its existence has attracted descendants of Nazi sympathizers who have visited it multiple times. Number 12. Evil Santa while around the world, Santa Claus is believed to bring gifts to well-behaved children. In Austria, Santa Claus is a devilish figure. 
This story seems to be kept hidden to preserve the innocence of children, but it does exist in Austrian culture. The Austrian version of Santa Claus is called Krampus. The Krampus figure originates from German folklore. On Christmas Eve, Krampus visits each house, leaving bundles of birch sticks for naughty children or even giving them a good thrashing, stuffing them into sacks or baskets on his back, and then throwing them into a stream or straight into hell. Therefore, some families in Austria also decorate with birch sticks inside the house to remind children. The demon is portrayed as half man, half goat, reminiscent of a devil. This character has a long tongue that extends down to its chest, and it has appeared on Austrian Christmas greeting cards since the 1800s. Krampus named after Krampen in German, meaning Claw is believed to be the son of the Norse goddess Hel in Northern European mythology. This demon also shares terrifying characteristics with some other demonic figures in Greek mythology. Today, the image of Krampus is popular in Austria. Young men dress up as Krampus wearing wooden masks, bells, horns on their heads, and costumes made of sheep or goat skins. They roam the streets to intimidate children during the Krampusnacht festival. In the city of Salzburg, Austria, on Krampus night, those participating in the parade along with this demon might surprise and catch people unexpectedly. Some seek refuge in shops and restaurants. People may be chased, borscht, or even playfully beaten, but in the festive atmosphere, no one takes it too seriously. In Austria, people sell Krampus themed chocolates and small figurines to tone down the demon's ferocious image. However, many believe that the Krampus figure has become too commercialized. Children nowadays no longer fear Krampus. They see the name as that of somewhat eccentric looking characters. Number 11. Ban on dog and cat meat. Austria seems to be a paradise for dogs and cats as they're extremely well protected here. In Austria, the consumption of dog and cat meat for food or any other purposes is strictly prohibited under Article 6, Section 2 of the Animal Protection Act. Violators can face administrative fines with a maximum penalty of 7,500 euros, and for repeat offenses, the maximum fine is 15,000 euros. In Austria, killing dogs and cats for meat is seen as an inhumane and unethical act as these animals are often regarded as loyal companions of humans. Respect for the right to life and the rights of animals is typically prioritized. Furthermore, there are health risks associated with the consumption of dog and cat meat, including the potential transmission of diseases from these animals. Food safety measures may also be a reason to ban or control the consumption of dog and cat meat. Overall, this ban is widely welcomed in Austria and is also a contributing factor to the continuous increase in the population of dogs and cats in the country. Number 10 American Sentiment Ranked 8th on the list of countries with the least favorable view of the United States, Austria has 55 its population expressing an unfavorable opinion of the US. This sentiment has increased by an additional 9 in 2022. The reason for this seems relatively straightforward. Austria wants to continue trade activities with Iran and North Korea, which the US opposes. Information conveyed through Austria's national media, along with negative assessments of the US, has led to unfavorable opinions among the country's citizens. Apart from being anti-American, Austria is also one of the top 10 countries least supportive of China's leadership with 70 of Austrians surveyed stating their opposition to Chinese leadership. A notable difference for Austria compared to many other countries on this list is that it is not a former Soviet bloc country and is not a predominantly Muslim nation. Number 9. Dog tax. In Austria, dogs are everywhere. You can encounter them in cafes, restaurants, subway stations, and many other public places. There seems to be an abundance of dogs to the extent that the government cannot overlook them. Authorities believe that dogs are consuming societal resources, and dog owners should compensate for that, leading to the introduction of a dog tax. This tax is imposed on the owners of dogs regardless of the breed. Each city sets its own tax rate, but on average, a dog owner pays 72 euros per year for the first dog and 105 euros for each additional dog. Those who do not comply with the regulations may face a significant fine, approximately 100 times the amount they pay annually for their dogs. 
Dog taxes are often utilized as a local source of income to, to support budgets and provide basic services to the community, such as managing parks, providing veterinary services, and offering dog and cat care services. High tax rates may be established to encourage dog owners to keep their dogs safely and responsibly, such as registering their dogs, keeping them on a leash when outside, and adhering to community rules. However, dog tax regulations can face opposition from the community if not implemented fairly and transparently. Some may argue that imposing a dog tax can create unnecessary financial pressure on dog owners. Smoking paradise, while Russian men may be known for their alcohol consumption, Austrians, both men and women, have a penchant for smoking, often seen with a cigarette in hand. Despite efforts to impose smoking bans, Austria remains one of the few European countries that still allows smoking indoors. Although Vienna implemented a ban on smoking in restaurants and bars in 2009, there are still loopholes, such as smaller establishments under 50 square meters deciding whether to allow smoking or not. As much as one third of adolescents aged 15 smoke cigarettes. Purchasing cigarettes is relatively easy for teenagers. Consumer health protection agencies argue that a lack of political determination due to fear of voter backlash has prevented Austria from having stricter regulations. The government's lack of resolve has significant consequences for Austrians and even tourists visiting the country. If this situation persists, Austria may no longer be remembered as a dreamy, misty city, but rather a city immersed in cigarettes. So seven, highest obesity rates in Europe? It may be hard to believe, but did you know that over 60 of the Austrian population is obese? This is a concerning reality in the country. According to the World Health Organization Hawk, obesity rates in Europe are continuously rising, with nearly a quarter of European adults being obese. Austria leads Europe in this issue. The obesity rate is higher in men than in women, with a rate of 63 in men and 54 in women. Now, one in three children is overweight or obese, with 29 being boys, 27 being girls, and concentrated in the adolescent age group. According to WHO, obesity is a cause of at least 13 different types of cancer and is estimated to contribute to around 200,000 new cancer cases each year. In addition, obesity also increases the risk of various other diseases, including cancer, cardiovascular diseases, type 2 diabetes, and chronic respiratory diseases. It is also responsible for seven of disabilities in Austria. Factors such as lifestyle, diet, and cultural factors can play a crucial role in shaping this reality. However, the Austrian government struggles to address this issue, and obesity rates continue to rise each year. So six, are to understand accent. Even if you know German, you might have difficulty understanding what Austrians are saying. If you ask for a paper bag in German at a cashier counter, it's not surprising if all you get is a bewildered look. In Austria, they call this item Sackel. While Austrian children are taught German literature in school, the country has a significant amount of dialects. Locals can use these dialects to identify where someone is from. The Austrian-German language is truly a headache for tourists. Imagine learning German, a language that is already challenging on its own. Then you venture out to test what you've learned, only to hear a completely unfamiliar language. Austria has a total of nine states, and each state uses a distinct dialect. Sometimes they might even struggle to understand each other. So five and direct communication. Austrians don't beat around the bush when they are displeased. Don't be surprised if you hear somewhat blunt comments about your behavior or appearance when talking to Austrians. This is because Austrians highly value honesty, something that is often mistaken for root. If you ask an Austrian question like, do I look fat in this? The answer you get might be yes if that's, that's the truth. Austrians are often perceived as very straightforward compared to many other cultures, however, if what they say reflects the truth, there's nothing rude about it from their perspective. They just speak what they see. Their straightforwardness is a demonstration of respect. For Austrians, speaking the truth is a sign of respect. They deserve to hear the truth rather than fake words. 
However, humans have developed language for thousands of years. There are ways to communicate truthfully in a more tactful manner, unlike the straightforward approach used by Austrians. So four, everyone knows how to ski. You're no stranger to photos of skiing from Austria, a country covered in snow throughout the year. Skiing is as important as learning to drive in a country like Austria. Austrian children are taught to ski from a young age, often accompanying their parents to ski resorts. Moreover, when they reach school age, they must learn skiing as a formal subject. It's no wonder that Austrian athletes often win the most medals when participating in world championships as well as European championships. An Austrian mentions, skiing is a relatively extravagant sport. So many people only do it once or twice a year. However, almost all of us know how to sky, and skiing is just as important to us as football, even more so. We excel at So three sign the most beautiful village in the world? Wow, we've talked about quite a few negative aspects of Austria. Now let's look at something positive about this country. The landscapes are undoubtedly the most impressive in this tourist destination. Among many pristine areas, the village of Hallstatt is considered one of the most beautiful villages in the world. Situated on the western shore of Hallstatt Sea, surrounded by towering mountain ranges, Hallstatt is a must-visit destination when you come to Austria. With a history dating back 5,000 years BC, and being considered the world's first salt mine, the town of Hallstatt still retains its picturesque and tranquil beauty. Hallstatt is poetic with pastel-colored houses reflecting on the sparkling lake where the beauty of the houses and streets alone is enough to attract a large number of tourists, especially in the warm summer sun. In winter, although many shops close early, the snow-covered cityscape becomes a dream for those who love photography. The beauty of Hallstatt is crafted by human hands but seamlessly blends with nature, making every corner look naturally captivating. The ivy-covered walls, mossy wooden railings are things that cannot be replicated. Holstadt's copycat versions only make people more curious about the original and lead them here to witness the harmonious blend of human civilization with nature and experience the serene charm of a village nestled between mountains and a lake, one of the most beautiful villages in the world. So to no fitted bed sheets, when checking into a hotel room in Austria, You'll likely notice that there is always a neatly folded sheet on the bed, but the bed itself has nothing covering it. Even at home, Austrians rarely use fitted bed sheets, while travelers or immigrants from other countries often equip their homes with them. The reason for this peculiar practice in Austria is that Austrians are concerned that bed sheets can pose health issues for them. Bed sheets can accumulate a certain number of bacteria after use. It may be dust from hands and feet, environmental dust, dead skin on the body, pet hair, etc. Our skin comes into direct contact with a bed sheet. If the sheet is dirty, it accumulates a certain number of disease causing bacteria such as fungi, mold, etc. The skin, especially for those with sensitive skin, is the first place where the effects of this are felt. The risk of acne, pimples, rashes is very high. If not, you'll still feel itching and extreme discomfort. If you continue to use dirty bed sheets, there is a high risk of inflammation and fungal infections. The longer it is left untreated, the more severe and difficult to treat the disease becomes. However, all these issues can be addressed by regularly washing and maintaining bed sheets hygiene. But it seems like Austrians are quite lazy in this regard, so they choose to do away with fitted bed sheets altogether. avoiding taxis, it might be normal in another country to call a taxi, even if your destination is just a 10 to 15 minute walk away. But in Austria, it's a different story. Taking a taxi here is reserved for the elderly who can't move around independently or for the extremely wealthy who prefer not to be bothered. For the rest, most people say no to taxis. Many cities in Austria have an efficient and convenient public transportation system including trams, trains, and buses. This makes using a taxi unnecessary when there are convenient and cost-effective public options available. Austria has been focused on environmental and transportation policies, promoting the use of public transportation and electric vehicles. 
Citizens may be encouraged to use these modes of transport to reduce the impact of rail traffic and greenhouse gases. Austria also has good bicycle infrastructure, and cycling is a popular choice for short-distance travel within the city. Austrians view cycling as a daily exercise routine. Therefore, becoming a taxi driver in Austria is a challenging job as not many people use it, resulting in lower income. With this, we've explored 15 prohibitions and peculiarities unique to Austria. Hopefully, you found it interesting to discover these new aspects in this video. Don't forget to share your thoughts and subscribe for more videos on culture and peculiarities from around the world. I'll see you in the next adventure. Thank you for joining us.